Well, new tonight at 10, making Alabama's beaches safer for sea turtles. Wildlife lovers have worked for years to keep nests safe as more and more buildings pop up on the beach and more and more tourists come each year. NBC 15's Corey Pittman shows us the new effort to let Mother Nature take her course. U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials have long sought to eliminate light pollution, harming sea turtles and their hatchlings. But now they're stepping up their efforts. The sugar white sands continue to draw people to the Alabama Gulf Coast. But for these endangered deep sea visitors, it's all about survival. Sea turtle nests are here on Baldwin County shores and hatchlings need help to make it to the water. The best thing for sea turtles would be to have no light on the beach. But, you know, everybody realizes that we have tourism. People are going to use the beach, so we've got to come to a compromise. Shannon Holbrook, biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, says bright white lights from condos and other businesses can disorient the hatchlings, who are looking for the reflection of moonlight on Gulf waters. She says new efforts are being made to make sure business owners install amber lights, ideally low to the ground and shielded to cut down the glow. We send letters to ones we know have had disorientations and we say, look, we want to work with you to get this fixed. And if they continue to have disorientations, that's when law enforcement can get involved. But no part of it is cheap or simple. Daniel Craven, attorney for more than 100 condo associations on the beach, says many of his owners are working to meet federal standards while making sure their properties are still safe. The average condominium association with 100 owners is probably looking about $50,000 to retrofit their lighting and we're trying to balance being turtle friendly but still being safe. Still beachgoers like Marquita Novak say it's an effort that's well worth it. But they need their space. They were here before we were. Everybody needs to do their part to help with the sea turtles. Craven also says condo associations found to cause the deaths of disoriented sea turtles could face fines of up to $25,000 for each hatchling. In Baldwin County, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.